Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with another patch overview for The Sims 4. So, uh, yeah, we already knew that half walls and door locks were coming, but this update's a lot bigger than I expected. I apologize in advance if I miss anything, but I do have my uh, list of stuff to go through here. So we're in the uh, world map screen right now, so let's start off with the UI changes in that. So they added this uh, view world info button over here, and there's the world description. So Oasis Springs and Willow Creek have their own descriptions by default, but Magnolia Promenade and Newcrest don't. So uh, hopefully with uh, future worlds and game packs and expansion packs, they will have descriptions there by default. I can imagine they will. But uh, also you can view lot types. So that's an easy way to see which lot types you have in your current world and which you don't, which is uh, why there's some check marks and why there's not a check mark besides some of them. And it even accommodates for mods like elementary school and high school. That's part of Zerbu's uh, go to school mod, which you've probably heard about. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. It's an easy way to find uh, an elementary school and high school for your game if you just installed the mod now. And uh, yeah, just go to the gallery and then it's like boom. Uh, come up with uh, lots in your library that match the type by default and then you can uh, go over to the community section from there. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the world stuff. So let's go right into build mode. Uh, this is actually uh, one of my... Uh, this is like my third attempt. Yeah, it's like my third attempt doing this one. So some of the stuff is already... Uh, pre-set up, I figured, well, okay, I'll just uh, leave it there and make this video a little bit more streamlined, I guess. So we'll start off with uh, half walls. Alright. Uh, come up in a second. Yeah, alright. So there's uh, five different heights of half walls. You can uh, paint wallpaper on them, of course, and you can also place small objects on top of the half walls, which is really cool. I like that extra touch. Definitely helps make the half walls more advanced than uh, previously in this series. And to find the half walls, you just go into walls and empty rooms. And then uh, here is like half walls. And then there's the uh, half wall trims, which you can, uh, you, can uh, you can also place them like that. Yeah, pretty nifty stuff. And then there's also uh, some new objects. There's the uh, king and queen's door, like the gender doors, where it yeah, only allows sims of a certain gender to go in there. So that's pretty nice. That was definitely a thing that was missing from the base game. Then there's also this clear seeing glass door. Reminds me of the Ultra Lounge set, or some sort of set like that from The Sims 3. I, I don't know. If, am I alone on that? I hope not. But uh, yeah, then I'll also place uh, that door. And... Oh, that one can't intersect other objects for some reason. It's strange. I thought I did that in the other recording, but maybe not. There's plenty of different colors for each as well, which is pretty neat. And let's see, there's also a ceiling light. Uh, oh, wait, before I go over to um, the lights, there's also a new fence. There's a smooth keeper. And then just... Uh, Place that along here. I don't really have much room to work with here, but you can like make a square if you want to and then place some flowers inside, give it like a framed effect. Pretty nifty. The Sims 3 I know had something exactly like that, so it's really good that they uh, finally put that in The Sims 4. So let's see, there's, where's the light? Oh yeah, there's also um, decals, which I'll get to in a second. Uh, bu -bu -bu ceiling lights. Uh, no, not that one. Subtle saucer light, that's what it's called. Not too much of a, a description, but it's not a big deal. Well, I already placed some around here. But you can see what it looks like and the exact pricing, 150 simoleons. Oh uh, yeah, I do like that. I did notice that it's really hard to get like a normal looking ceiling light, so I'm really glad that they did add one for free. Let's go into decorations. Uh, it's under paintings. Yes, so there's some arrows. And there's also the male, female, 
uh, gender decals. I'll uh, place like maybe a couple of these. Oh, right, there's I left the uh, up arrow there. <laughs> you can see the colors. And uh, I believe the male and female have about the same color selection. Yeah. All right, that's pretty cool. Yeah, just leave that in Edvin's room. Uh, I think that covers everything for uh, for build mode. Do, 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 do. Yeah, like fence doors, all the goals. All right, so let's play around with the door locks. Let's put the walls up. So uh, you click on a door, and then you can lock door four. Uh, lock door for everyone, lock door for everyone but household members, lock door for everyone but employees. I was not expecting for this option to appear on residential lots. I'm not sure why that is, but yeah, that's really good for making your own uh, break rooms and keeping customers out of there. And lock door for everyone but Edmund. So that's pretty neat. If you try to make another sim uh, go into that room and they're not allowed to, they'll get like a little lock icon above their head. Uh, along with a nice routing failure animation. I'll just show it quickly right here. And there you go, that's what happened. Works a lot like uh, Scumbombo's uh, door lock mod. Rest in peace, but uh, it was definitely a good supplement when we didn't have locked doors in the game officially. Alright, uh, I guess then all there is left to do is go into... Uh, Create a sim. Oh, I actually I did forget one other big thing is that with the UI, uh, there's some new things like the bulldoze lot is not hidden behind the lot info anymore, and there's updated information. Uh, much to my delight, you can uh, excuse me, I can see the lot value and the lot dimensions, so I won't need to edit that into my lot showcases anymore. And then you can also go directly into the gallery from here, and you can also view the checklist if you're building a venue. And uh, also, there are some new lots that uh, you get with the update as well. I think they're meant to be uh, put in Newcrest because one of them is actually called Newcrest Park. So let's go to Maxis. Um, okay, wait, <sighs> this is weird. Oh, okay, I was doing elementary school for some reason. There we go. All right, so all these up to Newcrest Park are new. And I don't know, I might do a video for these, but I'll do it separately from this overview because there's already so much to go over, uh, even go without including these. But so uh, yeah, if you need more uh, lots, then uh, definitely uh, go and check them out. Then, um... Yeah, I guess now I can go into the create a sim stuff. All right, let's have Lucy go over to the dresser. So there's a pair of slippers for kids and there's a full body towel outfit for all ages. Pretty surprising they did this. I thought they'd be restricted to spa day, but yeah, surprisingly generous. But I'm not complaining, that's good. All right, Ruby. so let's click Good on sorry. Lucy. Uh, oh, by the way, um, yeah, I have a mod that shows uh, three uh, the three columns at once. So that has nothing to do with the patch update. Uh, okay, so the towel is right here for women. And that's what it looks like. And you have a lot of different color options. And then noticeably, there's no red. I don't know why there's no red but uh, pretty much every other color you're accommodated for. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same for uh, all ages. I'll show you with uh, Edmund as well. Uh, right here. Yep, and then there's all the same color options for them as well. Let's go over to the shoes. And the new slippers are right here. All right. So yeah, lots of color options for them as well, and there is red, which is great. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I really need to sift through every single color choice, but you get the idea. They do look pretty good, and uh, kind of surprised they didn't already exist for kids, but yeah, I'm glad that we do have them now, and for free at that. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, update. I apologize again if I did miss anything, but I'm pretty sure I uh, covered everything. This is a pretty big update. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of this, uh, this big new patch. And be sure to leave a like or a comment or even subscribe, whatever you feel like doing, because lets me know that you like my channel, my videos, and it helps you keep up to date with the latest content from me, including uh, showcase videos, my Let's Plays, occasional uh, update videos like this one, and uh, occasionally uh, miscellaneous stuff like uh, Sonic the Hedgehog and indie games. So, yeah, I will talk to you later, you guys, and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Oh, and by the way, you can lock our choice if you want to. <laughs> and yeah, I definitely can't wait to see what builders will do with these half walls. <laughs>